Alright, so this is the ANET A8 printer, and um, obviously I have a lot of modifications on here. Some of those are on my channel if you want to check them out. What I've done here is made a removable build plate, and um, I'll go through what it is, but it just finished the print. This is the first print I've done with it. Um, and it seemed to work fine, so this was kind of a test print. So I just have it on with binder clips. So I'll get some close-up shots of the bottom layer here. So we have pretty good adhesion on it. It's not going anywhere. This is PLA. This is Maker Geeks PLA. Printed at 225 um, with a build um, plate temperature of like 70. I do 70 because this build plate I made on top of here is actually on top of a print Z plate, which is a good three and a half millimeters thick. So. It needs to go through, that heat needs to go all the way through everything, but, okay. Let's see, let me take this. This. Is. Oh, I can get it off there. Is, um, this is 30 mil thick. Um magnetic sign blanket they call it I think I'll, I'll put a link in the description to some of it I got it off of eBay you can find it other places 30 mil thick which means it's not 30 millimeters it's a uh, imperial measurement of thickness it is a little bit thick um, but it was the cheapest I could source. I got two rolls of this stuff. Enough for doing three printers. I got that much material for $25 shipped. So, but as you can see that's flexible. This is the magnetic part. This is like what you put on your, your, uh, your car. And then this is the print and Z build plate. So the problems I've had with the print in Z build plate is that when you use PLA and you get your first layer real, real tight to it, it actually sticks so hard you have to scrape it off and it can ruin the print bed. So that's what happened on the black side of the print in Z plate. I actually printed PLA too close, which is never a bad thing, but it is for this. So I, I printed too close to the black side of the build plate, and as a result of that, it became uh, stuck to the black side of this, and it was ruined anyway, like it was all pitted up. So what I did is I inverted, I cut a piece of this 30 mil, the size of the build plate. I scratched up this nylon, portion of it. Um, just scuffed it up with sandpaper and then I CA glued it, just super glued it to the black side of the print and Z. So then I cut another piece out of the magnetic blanket, sign material if you want, if you will, and then I put that so the poles match up magnetically. And then it just snaps right on there. And you can also remove this nylon material. So if you get too close to the print, 
bed with your nozzle, with your Z-height, this will be somewhat of a problem because this nylon will melt. But like I said, it will come off and you can get it off and just print directly to this. So if this breaks down, I think that's what I'll do. The other option I was contemplating was to just throw a piece of build pack on the magnetic part that comes off because the build pack will still be flexible, but it'll adhere much better to the build pack. But it's adhering great to this nylon right now, so why, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'll show you, I'll just get it ready for the next print. So I just lined it up as even as I can, and then pop it down. So the reason I'm doing the magnetic blanket on the print and Z bed is because my aluminum bed is pretty warped. So I've been using the print and Z bed to kind of level that out. So I'm really bad at setting my Z offset height. So a lot of times I'll crash into the bed. So what I don't want to do is have glass under there and crack the glass. So I have the print and Z bed, which is really nice and flexible and works great when you get your layer height set. The next thing to really care about then with this type of machine is this is an auto leveling machine. So this is an inductive sensor. You can notice that it's not doing anything with just my finger, but if I put the scissors, it can measure the distance from metal. And that's how it uses, it creates a mesh network on top and it determines if the bed is leaning one way or the other so you don't have to level, it does that all internally. Well, do these magnets screw up that all level feature? And they do not. It's gotta get a little closer but it still recognizes the metal underneath it. So I think this could possibly still work with a thin piece of glass or something like that, something that's not really large. I wouldn't do it on a huge thick piece, but so it does work going through two magnetic sheets through the first layer of the print and Z into the steel that's laid into the build plate of the print and Z plate. So it seems to work really well. Um, that was my second print, these three objects. These are Christmas ornaments, and this is a, uh, it will be a bow for a box, Christmas present box. So, um, seems to work really well with that. Really happy with the first layer, but I just wanted to give you a heads up and let you know what I'm doing and I'll keep this updated um, if I switch to build tack material on top or not but seems like a really viable option but one thing I will say about this is it's going to add some weight to your bed carriage so this these the sign material at 30 mil thick is very very heavy so what I would recommend is finding some really high quality like 10 mil Magnetic strip this, strip, this is big. I couldn't find this thin in a big enough space um, to fill the beds. But if you could find that or source that material, it would be plenty strong enough magnetically to hold the plate and it would not add a lot of weight. So that might be the next thing I try and source is some thinner thinner material for the top. But so far with PLA, even at 225, it's all working good and I'm really happy about it. So, all right, catch you on the next one.